One, two, three. Here we go. This is me, Sarah Iqbal Khan, the Pixel, and welcome you to the exciting podcast that we have brought to you. And it's called Wobble Hearts. And here we will be challenging and shaking, you know, the concepts, the conventional mindset and the, you know, the paradigms of the people they have. We're going to talk about innovation, which is... Uh, you know, somehow the most misunderstood concept. People think that they will take a new concept, they will take a new world, they will take a new world, they will take a new world, then there will be innovation, then there will be a But uh, it's very simple. You basically do the process re-engineering and you just, you know, think at from some another angle. So innovation can be brought into, you know, different, uh, you know, tangents. So that's why we have thought that we are doing something that is not happening. ऐसे कॉन्सेप्ट्स के ऊपर बात करें जिनके बारे में जनरली यू नो पीपल हेजिटेट टू टॉक अबाउट बिकॉज दे बिलीव दैट वी आर फ्रॉम द कॉर्पोरेट सेक्टर सो वी नीड टू कैरी अ सर्टेन पर्सोना वेरी रिजर्व वेरी एग्जीक्यूटिव सो वी विल बी ब्रिंगिंग द एग्जीक्यूटिव वी विल ब्रिंग द सेज ऑन बोर्ड बट वी विल बी टॉकिंग टोटली डिफरेंट लाइन्स फॉर दैम एंड फॉर दैट पर्पज यू नो आई हैव समबडी विद मी टूडे एंड Basically, he is a person with uh, 20 years plus diversified experience, both in corporate and as well as public sector. And he has been associated with the entrepreneurial ecosystem as a mentor, as a sage. And he has been, you know, the driving force behind a lot of startups, specifically in the you know, modern trade. And nowadays, he is associated with the biggest uh, infrastructure project of Pakistan, Ravi Urban Development Authority and uh, there is always a you know very soft and a very strong and a very philanthrop philanthropic you know aspect associated to the initiatives he always take because he believes in you know investing his mind and his time you know in the youth development and the human capital development for the national interest as his personal CSR which is you know the hour as well because the situations we are going through so please welcome you you know, none other than Mr. Rashid Tarabi, who is basically the Executive Director Support Services at RUDA, Ravi Urban Development Authority. Assalamu alaikum, sir. How are you doing and how is life? Um, thank you, ma'am, for inviting me over this uh, very interesting podcast. I'm surprised that uh, you spoke so much about m me <laughs> that uh, it creates a lot of doubt about my own self. But thank you for introducing me. I am just a humble uh, practitioner of HR who wants to do uh, something which is out of the box, who wants to contribute to the national cause, who wants to do some projects which uh, gives a lot of room to the next generations, not only in terms of uh, corporate outlook, but in terms of career development mentoring and uh, giving um, I feel it's time to give it back to the society because uh, the more you give the more you get that's my main objective right now okay so you you, you always take a very humble approach you know and uh, that's uh, I must say sweet of yeah. you maybe or maybe um, you basically chose a word society, yeah. right? And um, society actually has been redefined as well. It's evolving with the passage of time. True. And, uh, you know, especially uh, in the, the current times, which are absolutely different. Okay. And uh, so let's throw you into a certain situation. You can understand that you don't have HR, you don't have HR, right? Abhi aap ek human being hai, hai, okay. who might have certain set of experiences mm -hmm. or chunke aapka but extensive experience raha hai in terms of the you know startup ecosystem and establishing it and you know to basically uh, see ke ek, ek cheez ko scratch se kaise start karna usko build up kaise karna so if I you know throw a situation to you ke aapne aap ek alien hai right you don't belong to this planet okay. right uh, Mars ki aaj koi badi baat ho so aap Mars pe hai and you're an alien and maybe you got a lot of money from unknown I don't know from where and you have to choose a country right 
So on which parameters, on which critical parameter you're going to choose that yes, I will make an investment you know, in this country. What are the parameters that you will see and decide that I will choose this country on the planet Earth to choose a country on the planet Earth. If I look into my own temperament, my mindset, I think I'll choose Pakistan because I had a lot of opportunity to go and settle anywhere in the world. But uh, luckily, or kya uh, kahiye? By design, Allah Taala ne chaha ki main Pakistan mein ho aur Pakistan ki khidmat kar sakun apni humble capacity mein. I would choose Pakistan because uh, when you say there are certain parameters, my parameters would be that immense, uh, very talented, very dynamic human resources. I have started off with uh, almost five projects in Pakistan and I have realized that uh, those projects were the sector opening. Thi. But this time, we have groomed a little bit groom kiya. Brief kiya, support kiya, or mashallah, jis tarah un logon ne yahan pe un projects ko ek success story ke taur pe leke chale. That is remarkable. Uh, youth, which is very dynamic, opportunities which are untapped. We have a discipline like what Kaid Azam said, unity, faith and discipline. If you allow, I would like to give you an example of Jangir Khan, the illustrious Scotch player. This Kudunya Negata ki usko polio hai or usko problems or patani kya kya kata. Wo e gyara salta squash ka wo champion banana just ne five fifty five matches jite. ये एक एग्जांपल है मैं हमारी खवातीन यू नेम इट वेदर इट्स पॉलिटिक्स वेदर इट्स बिजनेस वेदर इट्स स्पोर्ट्स कौन सा ऐसा सेक्टर है जिसमें हमारी खवातीन ने दुनिया में अपना नाम नहीं कमाया फिर ऑन टॉप ऑफ एवरीथिंग द ब्लेसिंग्स ऑफ पाकिस्तान इट्स जियोपॉलिटिकल लोकेशन ज्योग्राफिकल लोकेशन इससे ज्यादा आप blessed हो नहीं सकते seasons यानी एक तरफ आपको अल्लाह ताला opportunity दे रहा है कि उसने आपके लिए ज़मीन ऐसी बना दी कि सारे seasons हैं अल्लाह ताला दूसरी तरफ आपको इस तरह के लोग दे रहा है कि जिन में किसी भी हद पे जाके काम करने की सलाइयत मौजूद है तो सिर्फ आपको उसको plug करना है right person at the right spot I personally feel के इससे बेहतर मॉल क्योंकि I मैं किसी को सारी बनाई भी अल्लाह ताला की दुनिया है I won't say कि the other countries are bad or can't perform or whatever but if in the given circumstances I feel Pakistan is the best place to perform when it comes to the future of the world I'm sorry if you with your permission I'm going to talk little geopolitical aspect also future of the world, uh, Europe develop ho gaya, America develop ho gaya, Australia has done its part, Asia jahan pe do dhai arab admi hai, wahan pe is waqt zaruwat hai, cheezon ko challenize, organize karne ki. Look at the Chinese economy, look at the Indian economy, look at your other neighboring countries. They are performing with their own, whatever the limitations they have. और पाकिस्तान को इन सारी चीजों को क्लब और ब्रिज करना है। With your permission, I won't take the name, but एक मुल्क एक I was talking to an expert, and he said कि पाकिस्तान के हालात खराब हैं, ये है, वो है। तो I said he was my regional head. I said अगर पाकिस्तान के हालात खराब हैं, तो आपने इन्हीं हालात में पाकिस्तान में 50 million dollars invest किया। why did you do that? Because अगर इतने ही हालात खराब हैं, पिछले तीन सालों के आप banks के, pharmaceuticals के, public listed companies के profits देखिए कहाँ गए? लोगों का pro lifestyles कहाँ गया है? 
आप अपने लोगों की थिंकिंग प्रोसेसेस को देखिए कहाँ चले गए आपको सिर्फ उनको प्लग करके सपोर्ट करना है आपको कनेक्ट करना है जो कि वो थोड़ा सा डिसरेड और डिसकनेक्टेड है नथिंग एल्स सो आई फील आई विल इन एनी केस नॉट ओनली कि आप मुझे एक दफ़ा मार्च से यहाँ भेजें <laughs> आप मुझे दस दफ़ा भी भेज देंगे मैं पाकिस्तानी सेलेक्ट करूँगा Okay, so what what I understood that you have chosen uh, uh, two prime parameters, I must say, uh, as an alien, that to choose a country you will be focusing on the demographic dividend. Yeah. And second one is the strategic location of that country. Yes. That's it. Yeah. And what about uh, you know the importance of uh, indices like? Won't you be interested to look into the uh, innovation index, the happiness index of that country, or you know the what you call as knowledge economy index of that country? Or what do, you, do you think that only these two parameters are more than sufficient? With your permission, if I can write it, you said knowledge. Knowledge economy you index. You said happiness. Yeah. And what other two things you mentioned, ma'am? For example, um, national innovation index. For example, innovation. And what else? One last thing that you mentioned. You probably mentioned four things. When it comes to knowledge, uh, our people, with your permission, our people who go abroad, you give them just the platform, and they perform very well across the world. Uh, go and see um, people going to United States of America and becoming doctors. See what engineers have done uh, in the Gulf region. Go and see <coughs> what our designers are doing, fashion designers are doing across the globe. When it comes to happiness, we are very happy, very. uh what do you say contented uh, people for example main aapki happiness ke graph ko agar relate kar do charity ke sath to aapke jo log hain wo sab pakistan duniya ke top 10 countries mein aata hai jo charity mein believe karta hai pakistan mein agar aap happiness ka graph dekhe वो ठीक है हमें अपनी हैप्पीनेस अभी डिटरमिन करना नहीं आई हम वो इंडेक्स डेवलप नहीं कर सके मगर एक छोटी सी मिसाल देना चाहूँगा आपकी इजाज़त से कि एक अब गरीब के यहाँ भी शादी होती है ना तो उसकी हम मेहंदी मायूँ मंगनी पहला शादी चौथी वलीमा एंड सो ऑन एंड सो फोर्थ अगर किसी के घर फौदगी होती है ना तो वो भी कोई पंद्रह इवेंट्स करता है तो आपके यहाँ लोगों ने डिटरमिन तो कर लिया है बट दे डोंट अभी वो गेज या वो मेट्रोसिक्स बना नहीं सके अपने हैप्पीनेस के आपने लास्ट बात की इनोवेशन आप चांस तो दीजिए अपने मुल्क को आप ही हैं कि आपका एक कोई एयर चीफ था जिसने शॉर्टेस्ट पॉसिबल टाइम में कोई एक नया एयरक्राफ्ट फ्लाई करना सीखा था वो फ्लाई करके खुद लाए थे आप इनोवेशन देखना चाहते हैं तो बेसिकली हमने अपने लोगों को रोक के रखा हुआ है पाकिस्तानी कौम जो बाहर गई है दे आर सर्टन साइंटिस्ट वेदर इट बी अब्दुल कदीर खान और अब्दुल सलाम और फॉर दैट मैटर आज के दौर में हमारे पास हैं अपना डॉक्टर अताउर रहमान साहब और अगर मैं किसी काबिल आदमी का नाम भूल रहा हूँ तो मैं माजरत खा हूँ मगर पाकिस्तान में इतनी इनोवेशन है हम प्रमोट नहीं करते हम उस किस्म मगर ये कि पाकिस्तान जितना इनोवेटिव मुल्क जितना क्रिएटिव सेटअप डाइवर्सिटी है ना यूथ बल्ज है <coughs> मसलन अभी आप ही की गुफ्तु से याद आया कि पहला एंड्रॉयड का जो वायरस क्रिएट हुआ था पाकिस्तानी ने वो किसी पाकिस्तानी ने किया था आपने जो भी बातें की उसमें कोई है So on your top priority there are two factors you know the strategic location and the demographic dividend mm-hmm. right 
Okay, so if we uh, move into the second aspect of, of this scenario, right? Mm -hmm. uh, you know, the emerging scenario is very, very volatile, uncertain, complex, and ambiguous. Or a uh, is yeah, exactly. It's it's complete VUCA. And this is not that we are experiencing VUCA for the first time. We have experiences in the history as well. Mm -hmm. So now uh, the the pace is very high. The speed is very high. And somehow the previous experiences are not going to be relevant somehow in the future. Mm -hmm. They might not be that much useful. So we have to keep redefining reimagining you know and redefining the convenience for the people as well so if this is the scenario and economies are uh, going through massive disruption and um, kitni sustainable hai, kitni relevant hai, trajectories ki yahi hai ki nahi hai. so if you are you have chosen a country on, on the basis of these parameters ab aap se mera sawal ye hai ke, how would you actually shape shape up build up that country or how will you drive that country into a certain direction ke wo relevant rahe ya wo sustainable rahe aur wo thrive kare in the emerging scenario dekhe jab se hum global village bane hain so ye ek bahut badi aasani ho gayi hai ki hum duniya ki best practices ko as of yesterday adopt kar sakte hain we don't have to reinvent the wheel second i think that the concept of learn unlearn and relearn mm. hum ye nahi keh sakte ki wohi humne jo bachpan mein padha tha wohi theek hai kyunki dynamics change hote ja rahe hain to main agar mujhe ye ijazat mili ki main kuch kar saku apne mulk ke liye to main ye karunga ya main ye suggest karunga ki apne aap ko flexible rakhein और दुनिया में जो बेस्ट एक चीज अब तक पढ़ने में सुनने में समझने में या अपनी प्रैक्टिस में मेरे सामने आई है वो है कि चेंज इज इनएविटेबल और जिसमें एडेप्टेबिलिटी ज्यादा होगी वो सक्सेसफुल है सो आई विल रिकमेंड आई विल सजेस्ट दैट प्लीज डोंट कन्फाइन योर सेल्स टू समथिंग विच यू थिंक दैट आई हैव डन एंड आई एम परफेक्ट इन माई ओन परस्पेक्टिव परस्पेक्टिव में चेंज हम में जिस किस्म की डिस्ट्रप्शन हो रही हैं ग्लोबली एवरीबडी इज़ चेंजिंग आज से 20 साल पहले हॉटमेल था ख़त्म हो गया कोडेक था ख़त्म हो गया बिकॉज दे वर नॉट एक्सेप्टिंग और अडोप्टिंग द चेंज सो चेंज इज द ओनली थिंग विच कैन टेक यू फर्दर एंड टेक यू इन टू द फ्यूचर all right so agility or adaptability will be the core yeah right in whatever initiatives you're going to take as you know uh it's going to be situational ma'am mm -hmm. i cannot predict something today because i don't know how many people will listen or see this podcast i don't want to say that this is you know this is the final word but i would say that your end goal should not be disturbed you can change your processes mm. don't change your goals mm. don't change your deadlines your timelines you can change you can change your uh, come up with the alternates like you uh, if you read strategic management books and the gurus they say that there should be alternate solutions contingency plans all the time strategic managers of today should not plan one strategy and stick to it they must come up with multiple contingency plans to ensure that what they have to achieve at the end of the day that's the ball game okay so the national outlook should be you know to accept the change to embrace it yeah right and uh, adapt quickly yes. right pivot if the plan is not working mm -hmm. and move to the next thing yes. right but at the end of the day because now the day nowadays competition is all about speed and somehow it is or you know you, you can say that it is you know merging with the concept of cooperation as well competition yeah. plus it is called cooperation uh in 2000 bill gates wrote a book called business at the speed of thought so your thinking process your speed should reflect in your implementation also and today when you say that there there is no competition left in the world now those who have collaborated they have yeah. succeeded west germany and east germany yeah. uh, america is working with the mexico's and brazil's and countries with whatever 
and directly or indirectly whole world is working with each other for example if russia is not providing gas to the certain countries so somebody else is benefiting from this situation and eventually with these natural resources one day russia will benefit in return so it's a reciprocal thing you can't say you're out of the ball game when we say about pakistan we just need to give them the clear guideline to the nation especially to the youths mm. the people who think that pakistan is there so disruption we must leave this country it it should not be done because wherever you go you will not be considered as a first rate citizen and the opportunities uh, the strengths we enjoy in pakistan we won't find anywhere in the world hmm so my take would be pakistan on top okay now the last question you yeah. use the word citizen yeah. right because we were talking about that how to select the country how to establish how mm. to build up and now it's it's all about citizens right mm. so how do you define uh, you know that what should be the culture to nurture you know the citizen capital within a country mm -hmm. and um, because at the end of the day it's basically the citizen experience the people yeah. experience right mm. and you have to provide that enabling an environment in mm. which that citizen those citizens will actually nurture and will move in a certain direction right so what culture do you think needs to be provided in terms of citizen capital development uh, we are uh, again if i have to give like my piece of advice it won't be that follow these 10 steps mm. just disrupt with what you have been doing in the last 75 odd years and change yourself for example we need to be honest mm. we need to have faith in the country we must discipline ourselves we must respect each other mm. unity somebody our leader said united we stand divided we fall so where do we stand at the end of the day that is more important for me and if you uh, it's not only um, tyra it's not only uh, about uh, worldly practices even if you follow islam as a religion or islam as a code of life both gives you a there are certain laid down best practices which helps you to proceed and succeed in this country so basically you what you did at the end of the session he actually came up with the national values i must say yeah. um, unity faith discipline honesty respect and at the end of the day if you have defined your values you know you can you know shape up your national purpose true your uh, national vision mm -hmm. right and your national mission and then you can you know drive the strategies and you know drive the youth in that particular direction yes right so um i guess uh, it's 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 uh, beautifully summed up but for that now i would like to invite you know who now i would like to invite uh, the apex of our show who is basically mr khalid naki and he brings with him 30 years plus diversified international experience in different asset classes and uh, he is also you know here to uh, with the same vision as rashid turabi sahab shares of paying back to the society aur sab bada acha acha hai mashallah se so khalid sahab welcome on board and um, how you going to actually summarize this beautiful conversation we had with a person of eminence i have always been a great fan of mr rashid turabi because of his experiences the intellectual contribution he brings on the table and his patriotism and his nationalistic approach to were saying is always something which really at times creates in doubts in my mind that is he right so <laughs> <laughs> uh if i may take a look at his thoughts he said that he'll be picking up a particular country because of uh, the great upside he sees in while he's investing here so capital gains will be a lot more because of multiple reasons it could be demographic dividend the market size the location facilitating trade and other factors but definitely he is looking at a particular country 
as an investor, I think he is on dot that he is looking at the upside, what this country can pay me back. The other countries, like Sarah was asking, how will you evaluate on uh, key critical factors like knowledge economy index, general happiness index, and the so, so on and so forth. Usme, the West Hedge, it has already outgrown all the other countries uh, and they have led to the majority, so Usme has upside it in as a die. I'm just trying to reconstruct my thoughts in the process. And the other other side which I see Jhape I'm uh, that he very rightly said that Pakistan se bahar jaoge, you are not the first rate citizens, you are still immigrants and you are not the uh, national the true local son of the soil. My challenge which I face every day is am I being treated as a capital and a first rate citizen in my country or not. So if that thing comes up and this uh, unity, faith, discipline, honesty, integrity, it all boils down to the, 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 the justice which we have in our mind as human capital, as human beings of this country and that uh, just outlook and be honest and uh, justice delivered to all at all levels. I would say if we read our national uh, document which was prepared to run this country the first 14 points cover everything are we following it the question for our next generation is to demand that the constitution whatever constitution is saying demand those things from whosoever is the helm of affairs so on this i like to end and thank you uh, Rashid. it was great hearing to you again as thank usual. you too, sir and we look Thanks forward to you. seeing you more of your thoughts and uh, uh, being uh, uh, because it's the, the session is wobble hearts so we have to make your heart wobble whatever your convictions are we need to challenge them and disrupt them yeah. so that in the next session we take a follow-up view from you how you feel about it thank you very much it's an excellent initiative i must appreciate the people who are taking care of this uh, remarkable activity hum sab ki responsibility hai main apne seniors ko apne saathiyon ko dosto ko kahunga ki isme participate kare kyunki we need to give it back to our uh, society actually to our youth because hum to sirf unwa the asal daastan to tum ho good luck pakistan zindabad